Hello everyone. So here I am once again uh, bringing to you another short case. This time it's another interesting case that I thought that you guys will enjoy. So thinking of presenting it. So we got a 15 year old girl who came to our hospital with body ache and neck swelling and uh, the clinician was suspecting uh, some cerebral or condition affecting the CNS. So the patient underwent uh, uh, to evaluate the neck swelling as well as any generalized uh, as well as the generalized body ache and being since she was a young girl uh, we, we the, the since the doctor wanted to be pretty sure of the of the diagnosis uh, probably uh, that was the reason that she underwent a PET CT. So in the PET CT uh, in the CT sections which were provided there was this enhancing lesion which was seen in the right frontal bone uh, with cortical destruction and a significant amount of soft tissue and as we saw the full uh, PET CT we were able to see some nodes in the supraclavicular region which were showing uptake and appeared to be bright. There was uptake in the abdomen as well in the peripancreatic region as well as within the spleen. Basically it was involving the nodes as well as the reticuloendothelial system and there was some uptake within the bones as well. So now this was a condition which was basically affecting the uh, almost uh, all the systems of the body which included the CNS, the reticuloendothelial system as well as the musculoskeletal system affecting the bones. Now it was a young child, she was only 15 years of age and it was unlikely that she will have metastasis that to this much widespread from a primary. So after uh, like going through all the possibilities, the things that were most uh, striking or most likely to happen were uh, Langerhansel histiocytosis, lymphoma or non-Langerhans type of histiocytosis. Now lymphoma usually has more generalized lymphadenopathy and it does not affect the bones as commonly uh, seen in practice. So though lymphoma is a possibility considering the age of the child but the CNS lesion which was causing cortical destruction and the lesions in the pelvic bones in in affecting the iliac bone and the sacrum were going against it. So the more likely possibility was either SCH or other non langerhans type of histocytosis which included conditions like rosite dorfman or Erdheim chester so the patient underwent a biopsy from the neck swelling which was most easily accessible it was ultrasound guided so this was the three differentials that we that we thought of and then after the biopsy was done it showed uh, features of langerhans cells within the tissue sample that was obtained and the final diagnosis came out to be Langerhansel histiocytosis. Now what is Langerhansel histiocytosis is basically a rare multisystem disease with a wide and heterogeneous clinical spectrum. It is uh, basically an uncontrolled proliferation of the Langerhans cells and should be considered as a malignancy though it is biologically very variable. There have been various theories regarding the etiopathogenesis and an immune mediated mechanism has been postulated. The very characteristic features which are which may seal the diagnosis include presence of Birbeck granules on electron microscopy and uh, immunohistochemistry reveals the antigens which are basically HLA, DR, CD1A, CD207, S100. The prognosis basically depends on the type of Langerhans cell. So now it can be of very three subtypes, namely eosinophilic granuloma. Uh, lateral CV disease and the uh, 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 eosinophilic granuloma, lateral CV disease and hans schuller christian Yeah, I was kind of forgetting the third name. So basically eosinophilic granuloma has the best prognosis and lateral CV carries the worst prognosis. hans schuller christian usually presents with uh, skull lesions as well and also diabetic conditions and his intermediate in prognosis. It is also dependent on the number of organs involved, the prognosis, whether it is unifocal, multifocal, I mean two organs involved and whether it is a sarcoma. 
sorry no this patient was diagnosed to have langerhans cell it was having multiple involvement and the patient was started on treatment and this case is still in progress so just thought of sharing this case with you all thank you so much hope you liked it and thanks once again please provide your feedback